also provided input into the ethical principles that underlie research involving human subjects and um, the work that ultimately led to the Belmont Report. And I'd very much like to hear about your experience with that part of the Commission's work. Here, I think I contributed uh, toward what the Commission did in the end, but I didn't go quite far enough. Um, I identified some moral rules that I thought should be employed in considering any proposed research. One was that there should be excellent research design. Another was that there should be an appropriate risk-benefit ratio. Another was that there should be informed consent by the people who were being invited to participate. Another was that there should be some kind of equity or justice in the um, uh, sh sharing of the benefits and burdens of research. We thought in the 70s mainly about the burdens of research. And so we were concerned that minority groups or prisoners or children not be pressed into research that really uh, held out little prospect of benefit for them or where in the case of children they might not be able to really consent to the research. What the commission did was actually go a level deeper and they came up with three principles under which you can array these rules very easily. They came up with the principles of beneficence, justice, and respect for persons. So under beneficence, you can put good research design and an appropriate risk-benefit ratio. Under justice, you can put equity in the sharing of the risks of research. And under respect for persons, you can put uh, the requirement of informed consent on the part of the participants. I do give the commissioners uh, credit. Um, in the ethics literature of that time, in philosophy, William Franken uh, had a, a widely used textbook on ethics. And he had clearly identified beneficence and justice as two uh, important principles of all ethics. He did not really talk about respect for persons. The commissioners divided that into two parts, but one of the two parts was respect for the autonomy of persons. And uh, that picked up on a theme from Immanuel Kant that I think was a, a really good addition uh, to the general uh, uh, literature in philosophical ethics at that time.